everybody, it's Mitch with Dayton Mobile DJ. I'm back again with you guys today with another gig log. Today's wedding is taking us to Cliffside Acres in Springfield, Ohio. I'm very excited about this wedding, guys. They're actually taking a little bit of everything out to their wedding just to make their wedding pop a little bit more than everybody else's. And I'm pretty excited to show off to them and make this venue look good. Now, this venue is actually pretty new. They opened up in 2020 during the pandemic. It pretty much picked up last year. We did one wedding out there with them last fall. We are taking out 32 uplights to this wedding. We got the wireless uplights charging right there behind me. Uh, we are debuting the control box, which is going to run everything from all of our sound to our wireless microphones. It's got our Chauvet Show Express control box in there. The laptop is going to set up on top of the laptop stand to control all the lights. Get you guys a better look at that when we get there and once everything gets started. So this wedding, we actually just got a phone call earlier today. It's the day before the wedding and uh, they called to let me know that they are moving the ceremony inside because they're worried about the weather. We're in the end of March and uh, it keeps going back and forth. Last week it was 75 this week it's 45 next week it's 75 we'll keep doing that again until the end of April that's just the way it works in Ohio for this wedding we are doing the ceremony they're taking the cocktail hour out to the patio as long as the weather isn't too bad out on the patio they're gonna have a cigar bar that's where the bar is gonna be and that's where they want to set up the photo booth I'm hoping I can change their minds about that I'm hoping we can move the photo booth inside we'll get more use out of it and I don't really want it out in the elements myself that's just my my preference. For this wedding though, we're gonna have about 200 people. It's gonna be a whole lot of fun. They're not too picky about the music, so they're gonna let me play a little bit of everything, and it always makes everything easier if I could just read the crowd. Play what I think will work best. For lighting today, we're taking out all the uplights. Like I said, we're gonna have 32 uplights. They're all gonna be controlled DMX. We also have two moving heads that are gonna be on totems, and the gig bar too that's gonna be up above the DJ booth lighting up the dance floor. So we just got everything inside and mostly set up, but like I say, we're doing the room transformation after the ceremony's over. I don't know if you guys can tell, it's freaking snowing. So we got some snow falling, so I'm really happy that they moved this inside. Uh, we're parked back there in the corner. And we got the barn over here. It's gonna be a really nice wedding. I've gotten to talk to the groom. We took some pictures in the photo booth with him. I'm from school, so I'm pretty excited about this. And Aiden's walking up here, trying to sneak in on the action for the gig log. Uh, but I'm gonna give you guys a look around inside and we will check it all out and see how it goes. Alright, so we got everything set up behind the facade here where the guys are hanging out. Everything's back kind of just behind here. We're gonna move every everything from here all the way over there in the center. That's where they're doing the ceremony. And then everybody's gonna be sitting in their seats California style. And then we'll go out to the patio and see the photo booth. This is our photo kiosk. So we got it set up here. We're running Spark Booth on here. It's going to take four pictures. It's going to print out the photo strip, out the DMP RX1 printer that we got back here. Got some props for everybody to use in the photos. And then we have a satellite speaker out here on the patio. It's a Harbinger MLS 900. And we'll be running that Bluetooth during cocktail hour while we're moving everything. And then it'll also be plugged into the system, which is going to be just inside the doors here so everybody can hear the announcements and everything that's going on inside once we get all that set up. I didn't really talk to the camera too much after this, so I figured I'd jump in here and let you guys know a little bit about what happened leading up to Grand Entrance. Uh, I believe we did get a little footage of Grand Entrance, so we'll get to that here in just a minute. But that setup between ceremony and reception was pretty stressful. Uh, nobody really wanted to go out to the patio to get out of the way for us to transform the room. We had to move a whole bunch of chairs, not only moving all of our stuff over, we had to move all the ceremony stuff out of the way so that we could set up where they had the ceremony and it just got very stressful. Not only that, we actually had one other problem. So we actually kept losing signal with the wireless microphone whenever we get about 10 foot away from the booth. I noticed it when I was making announcements. I was keeping an eye on it, but I think the problem was actually these guys right here. So we've actually switched over to the wireless Donner uh, DMX dongles and I really think it's them that's interfering with the wireless signal for the wireless microphone. We're gonna double check it at the next couple events and figure out what it is. Uh, if it comes down to it, I could just unplug the wireless DMX and then we can plug it back in once the speeches are done and stuff like that. But I'm, I'm really frustrated about that because the, we've just recently got into the DMX stuff and I'm really a big fan of it. It looks amazing at some of these venues. But either way, we will get over there, give you guys a look at it. Yeah. <laughs> 
told you. It was a pretty good party. I was really excited. I was so excited that it was actually somebody that I knew and their party turned out to be that good. Uh, we had shuttles going back and forth to the hotel and everybody pretty much waited for the last shuttle. And I think I was out of there before most of the guests were out of there. Again, I did have three sets of hands that were helping me get everything out of the venue, so that made everything a lot quicker, but it turned out to be a really good party and everybody hung out to the very end. Uh, we even did an encore song right at the very end. But anyway, Wiley, Casey, congratulations. Thank you so much for letting me be part of your wedding. It was a blast. I had a great time. It looked like everybody else had a great time. And for those of you that are still watching, thank you so much for watching until this point in the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you haven't already and subscribe to the channel if you want to see how my business is growing and this year is going to be crazy. I'm going to be pushing out a whole lot of content. I feel like I say that every year, but this year I'm pretty dedicated to it and I hope you guys enjoy this gig log. I've been Mitch. You've been you. I'll see you on the next one.